Time for you to go be small. King of the jungle, cause you're in an MO. Time for you to go overload. Eat your competition alive, cause you're in a MO. What's my competition? Only me. Go head to head with my enemies and smash them to smithereens. Calisthenics burning calories. Bring that fire ready to blow up. Now we're the kerosene. You're a fighter, you're a fighter. Never gonna give up, never gonna back down. Get up, get up. I love how this show opens. <laughs> I love it. You can't do that in the news, but you can do it on the Friday Night Blitz. Oh, of course. It's just perfect. You always have your dancing shoes. Oh, I show. do. And I'm putting them on for Friday night for sure. Because, <laughs> y'all, we got it going on tonight. I mean it. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun games going on tonight. Ooh. I was actually over at War Memorial Stadium for our THV 11 highlight or THV 11 game of the week. I'm so excited. I can barely talk <laughs> <laughs> between Bryant and Parkview. Two very talented teams we have over here in Central Arkansas. Bryant is, of course, in 7A and Parkview is in 5A and they're in different classifications, so they won't play in the playoffs. But hey, every game is important. So let's get to those highlights, shall we? All righty then. <laughs> We've got over here, Parkview oh, coming in, smoke. it's their home, home turf. That's why Craig was coughing right there. And in the second quarter, Bryant Ooh. finds James Martin right there running in for the Bryant Hornets. And it's a 36 yard touchdown run and they get on the board first. And then there's another run here by Chris Ganaway, another great athlete they have there. He goes in easily and it's 14 to zip Bryant. That's 305 left in the first half. And then, but Parkview's Willie Eagles flies like an eagle he takes off 51 yard run and that puts his team in a great position to score that's Monterio Elson he says "Ooh, kill him with a short touchdown run and Bryant is still leading though it's 14 to 7 at the half but Parkview gets a little bit closer making it 14 to 7 there but however the Hornets would win this one 20 to 10 over Parkview Hey, Parkview put up a fight. How about that? Here's the thing about every game you see. Every game is a story. Here's one for you. You got two first-year coaches, both looking to stay undefeated. You got Brian Maupin of Maumel as their first-year head coach, and Ryan Mallett, who played for the Razorbacks, first-year head coach of Whitehall. Somebody's going to lose tonight for the first time this season. Who's it going to be, Maumel or Whitehall? As the Hornets of Maumel in the red and the black take the field. And they're off and running. Opening drive, Weston Pierce tosses the big tight end. Amari Rogers, hard to bring down. Man, he's shaking people off. At the goal line, Essia Devine strolls in for the score. Seven to nothing, Maumel at this point. Hornets, again, we're gonna show you. We're gonna look at Pierce, tossing to Elijah Newell, takes it up the sideline. He's brought down, no, just short. He didn't get in, y'all. Second one's not so easy for Devine, but he gets in with a little help. Push. And the shoving. <laughs> it's like it is at a school bus. Okay, 14 to nothing. Mom L. Bulldogs Noah right? Smith takes the handoff. He's going to find a gap. He's going to the races. 80 yards. They needed this one in Whitehall. He's got it. Tripped up. Get in. No. Oh, he fumbles. Oh, into the end zone. Bulldogs will have to settle for three. 14 to three. Mom L wins this one. 44 to 24 as Ryan Mallett suffers his first loss as a head coach. Mm -mm. All right, moving over to Sylvan Hills taking on the Benton Panthers. Benton and Sylvan Hills, they're both looking for their first win of the season. Here we go. Benton takes the lead right here. Seven to zip after Jack Woolbright sends it to Elias Payne for the eight yard touchdown. And then Sylvan Hills would tie it though with the one yard run by Gavin Toner with 431 left in the first quarter. But then Woolbright, look at that pass right there, finds Payne. He takes off 28 yards and they take the 14 to 7 lead over Sylvan Hills and Benton hangs on to win. This is a big score, 58 to 24. Wow. Benton wins this one over the Sylvan Hills Bears. Win their first game, they win big, don't they? We're just getting started, y'all. Yeah. Coming up, we've got the Blue Devils, and they're facing a team that used to be the Red Devils. You didn't know this. Oh, I did not and, know that. That's was why Craig O'Neill's here. See, there was a time when they were the Red Devils, and that is coming up as the Friday Night Blitz continues. <laughs> 